to a video uh, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a guitar type beat for Ian Dior, Juice World, maybe even the Kid Leroy. So the first thing we're going to need, um, you can get a guitar VST. I used my actual guitar I have behind me um, and you want to play like something simple. So basically like power chords, um, but you want to play like in a really fast kind of nice rhythm going maybe from like 140 to 160 bpm um so here's what i played these are power chords and i added some chorus and reverb on it and uh, a little eq <laughs> so that's what i recorded uh into my computer and then i recorded this counter melody and how you can record a counter melody is just the first note that you're playing uh in this uh, that first power chord is a G power chord, um, so you can just play a G pentatonic scale to come up with a melody like this. And then I added distortion on the second part of the chorus. Just to make it sound a little more interesting. Um, and now, um, that's it for the instruments, um, uh, so let's get into the drums. So the drums, you want, like, a really full and percussive, um, type of drums and instrumentation with this. So the first thing I did was add a really simple, uh, four clap beat, so. Really simple. And then I added some open hats, too, for some little percussion. And I'm going to say this again, um, make sure you add like some, like a, a ton of percussion. Like normally with a beat, you only have your claps, your snares, your kicks, and 808s, and hi-hats. Uh, with this, you want a clap, a snap, an open hat, um, and maybe some other percussive sounds. I just went with the snap and open hat. Uh, but here's my snare. Uh, and then I added a snap, which has a lot of reverb on it to make it sound a little more full and almost like pop. And then we get to the hi-hats, which I'm going to play by, by itself. So the hi-hats, you want to make sure they're very sp sprinkly. Because uh, sprinkly hi-hats, they usually add to the vibe a little bit. Um, so this is just one pattern that I played and then I just copy and paste it over here. So it's the same, uh, but here's uh, here's what uh, I drew in. It's really simple. And uh, here's our beat so far. So that sounds good. And now we have our 808s. And the 808s are a little tricky when you're doing live guitar beats um, because uh, it's hard to figure out the notes. So how you can do that is figure out the root notes of the chords you're playing. So for me, I play G, D, E, and C power chords on the A string of my guitar. Um, so you can just find the root note of the chord, of the power chord, which shouldn't be that hard. It's just the lowest string on your chord. And then you should uh, be able to find that note on like a guitar notes chart, or if you just memorize the fretboard, you can do that. Um, and then you can lay out your pattern in whatever way you want. So here's what I did. Um, and you want to make sure that the 808 is like a... It's like a punchy and clean 808. An example of what not to do is this. That sounds like a nice punchy weight, but it doesn't sound as clean and, and tight, I guess. Tight is a good word for that 808. It's nice and compact, and it sounds clean and smooth. Um, this 808 um, is from the Pharaoh pack, the beta pack from Cymatics. Uh, this video isn't sponsored, by the way. And, and this is the short thump 808. Um, and there's a lot of good 808s in here. 
that might be a good a way it a way to use uh, if you tone it down a little bit. Um, so that's nice, just a nice tight and clean to wait. Um, so here's our uh, beat. And one thing I wanted to point, another thing I wanted to point out with the 808 is this little slide at the end. Um, and how you do that is just take this note right here. So I'll take, and you want to create a duplicate. So highlight it, shift, and then command up to uh, put it up an octave. So instead of E5 is E6, shorten the length so it doesn't slide all the way. Double click and then do that thing so it slides, and you get a slide note, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, so now I'm just gonna play the whole uh, not the whole beat, but some of the beat for you guys uh, because I'm gonna leave a link to this beat in the description if you want to listen to it more um, or just actually use the beat. Um, yeah, I hope this was a fun video for you guys to watch. Uh, certainly was for me. I had a good time making this beat, but let's just listen to it. Mm -hmm. 